this question is a biostat question. In this question, they're saying that the sensitivity is 99%. The specificity is also 99%, but the prevalence is 1 out of 10,000. Now, what is the positive predictive value? So in question like this, it's very important to realize that none of the numbers are real numbers. They're all probability. So if we keep the probability the same by changing the numbers, it's not going to upset any of the question or it's not going to give us a faulty result. So what I did is instead of taking 1 out of 10,000, I made this 100 out of a million by adding two zeros at the bottom and two zeros at the top, keeping the probability the same. So now I can say that 100 people out of a million people is going to have this particular disease, whether they're disease positive or disease negative. So let's go back to our box here. So we know that 100 people have the disease, which is the prevalence of the disease, whether they're disease positive or disease negative. Or we can say that this value, whether they're disease positive or disease negative, is 100. So A plus C is going to be 100. If A plus C is 100 and the sensitivity of this population is 99% or the, the test that we do picks up 99% of the time whether the disease is positive or not, so our A value is going to be 100 times 0.99 is 99. So once we have the value of A, we have the value of A plus C, we can easily find the value of C, which is 100 minus 99 equal to 1. So now that's this box, the disease positive box. Let's go to the disease negative box. When we're talking about the disease negative box, we already know that our population has a million people in that particular population, and of those million, 100 are sick. So we find out, we have to find out now, what is the number of people who are not sick? which is going to be our 1 million minus our sick people, 100, is this big value. Don't be intimidated by the big numbers. It's better to, de it's better to deal with bigger numbers than decimals. So that's why I made this 100 out of a million rather than going on decimal numbers. So this is our B plus D. Once we have our B plus D and we know the specificity of the disease is 99, all we have to do is take this number times 0.99 to find our D value. Once we have our D value and we have our B plus D value, we can easily find our B value, which is this big number minus this number is our B. So now we have all the whole box um, filled up. Now we can easily jump to the question which says what's the positive predictive value? Now positive predictive value is A divided by A plus B. In this case, A is 99. A plus B is 99 plus 9999, which is, I just put it here, and the value comes out to be 99 divided by 10098. When you compute, you get this big number. Now, this is the probability we have to multiply with 100 to find the percentage of the people that has the positive predictive value. So when I multiplied by 100, the value I got is 0 0.98, which is approximately 1. So the positive predictive value for this particular disease is going to be 1.